Hello, hello, welcome to Tutorial Tuesday, everyone. Hope you're having a great first half of the week. We are ditching the makeup tutorials today and we are doing a hair tutorial, which I'm actually super excited about. It's a great look for summer. So we are doing a high ponytail with a braid. Hmm. So this can mean a lot of different things. And I was telling some of the guys like what we were doing for the tutorial today and they were like, okay, so that's gonna take us about 30 seconds because all you do is throw it up and braid it, right? And I was like, no. We're doing a schnazzy one, boys, so they have a lot to learn when they uh, watch Tutorial Tuesday. So make your boyfriends watch too. <laughs> Let's just start this right off the bat. Why don't we? Oh, what you need. <laughs> that would be a good thing to start with. You need a brush. This is my tried and true Conair brush. I've had this for so long, I think it like has hair dye in it. I'm a mess. Teasing comb, Conair as well. You can get it at like Rite Aid, CVS, whatever. Bobby pens that match your hair color. A ponytail holder that matches your hair color and hairspray, and a clip, but I didn't have a clip today, so leopard headband is going to do the trick for me. Woo -hoo. So let's start right off. Take your brush, and you're just gonna brush through your hair. Now, if you have crazy curly hair, then I would straighten it before. I have pretty straight hair naturally, so I don't straighten my hair, so brush it, just kinda make sure it's like sleek and not, you know, not all combobulated. First, you're gonna section off your hair. So just this little piece. Now, I don't know technical terms. Don't get angry, like don't get all feisty about it, but I'll just show you what to section off. But one thing to keep in mind when you're doing this, make sure you take the same amount of hair from both sides so you don't have like a lopsided pony and your head doesn't look like whoo. So you section it off. So you take this side. I'm gonna take that much hair. I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna do the same place and take that much hair. Now it doesn't, this doesn't have to be perfect guys, so don't like stress about it. Like I said, only just, it only matters what, how much. It only matters that you take the same amount on each side. Now what I'm gonna do with this hair is I am just going to get rid of it. So I'm gonna put it in the leopard. I'm gonna give it a little, basically all I'm doing is just getting it out of the way. So actually, you know what? I'm not gonna use the leopard thing. I'm just going to use a bobby. Now, take this bottom hair that you've left and use your brush and you're going to put it, ow, ow tangles. You're gonna put it into the pony. But what you, the reason that you wanna use your brush to do this is because you want it to be very smooth. Is to make sure. now. This part, you where you set your pony, is how high it's gonna be. So I like it a little bit higher than the probably the average Joe, but that's totally up to you. So now you just wrap your ponytail holder around it. And don't worry about these little flyaways that I've got working. Those will go away with time. We'll get there. Okay, so now just squeeze it really tight. Whoa. Okay, and I'm gonna kind of brush out these ends that are a little haywire. So now I've got the pony. Now for the volume. So I'm gonna take down this crazy little thing that I have going. So now, you just take this. Now I'm gonna kind of brush it forward. Now what you're gonna do is you are now going to section this off and start a teasing. So I'm gonna take the back section like I said, this doesn't have to be, this part is like not a perfection part, it's just, and since my hair's so long, <laughs> this is wild. I'm just going to move it out of the way, but this is where your clippy comes in handy to like get rid of it. Now I took a section and I'm just gonna back comb. Meow. Meow. Now, what I wanna do here this is a comb over at its finest, is spray a little hairspray in the little section right there. And I'm gonna do it again. So it has some extra volume. So now I'm just gonna lay that over, just like that, and do another section. Let me get another section. I can't see. Okay, so same thing, back comb. You guys know how to back comb, right? You just take the comb and brush it the opposite direction. And it has those little 
knobs in there to make it. All right, hairspray. Woo! Tease a little bit more. And you can like bring it up a little. And if you hold it up and let the hairspray dry, then you're gonna have just a little bit more volume than you would if you just drop it immediately. So lay that down. All right, now for the top layer. Now this is the layer that you don't tease and you just brush. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this and you're just gonna brush the top over it, over all the teased, so that you have that volume so it shows up. Now, for the fun part. Now what I want to take is one of these little sections from the underneath side of the ponytail. But I'm gonna take the section from the ponytail part of it. Get out of there, stragglers. And I'm just gonna braid it. So take everything that you teased in the section that you put over. So you're gonna gather all the hair and you're gonna take the braid and you're going to wrap it. Wrap around to get all the hair into the ponytail that you first did, you know, underneath there. And just bobby pin the braid. And you want that to be really secure because that's kind of what's holding everything. And now I have a high ponytail braid, but there's a few finishing touches. I'm not done yet. But I'm gonna re-sleek this little part right here. The top layers, bangs are feisty. So if your bangs are feisty, you just do what I just did and pin them again. Now, because I see I have these like little flyaways, put hairspray in your hand. Just go like this. It's really All right, so that is the braid high pony. See? Not hard. And you know what? I probably could have taken a little more time on it and perfected it a little bit better. But at least you guys know the steps and it's definitely something that you can practice and perfect and see what works with your hair and what doesn't. But what I really love about this look in particular is it's so good for summer because it gets your hair kind of like out of your face but you still look put together and you're still on trend with the braids but it's not the braid that's like hanging down that's so annoying. You know, the whole thing. So it like gets it up, it's fun. So that is my tutorial braid. I hope that you all enjoyed it and Definitely practice makes perfect. As you can see, I struggle with things at times. So, you know, just keep practicing, you know, the steps. And let me know in the comments if you have any questions or any comments. I mean, do you like it? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Not for you. Let me know in the comments. And I'll see you guys next time on Tutorial Tuesday. Bye.